Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce Marketing Cloud Series. In this video, I will be talking about interactive pages in cloud pages in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Okay, so let's get started. So let's understand what is the meaning of interactive page. So when a customer or we can say end user submits a form in your email then uh, you redirect it to some web page on which it confirms that uh, your response have been submitted and it provides some link or some branding as well and uh, the main function apart from that message that confirmation message the main function of an interactive page is to process that form data to your marketing cloud okay so when i say process that means it sends that form data to marketing cloud data extension that is where the uh, important play comes of interactive page okay so in in this example we are going to create an interactive page we are going to put the confirmation message and header as well as uh, we are going to publish it okay so where you can find interactive page in marketing cloud you will have to go to web studio and under that you can see cloud pages so this is the overview page of the cloud pages here you can see some collections statistics some recent activity as well i'll just go to inside this collection i have already one item present i am gonna create a new item for our case so i'll just select interactive email page I am going to provide it a name as Camping Preferences, click Create. So once that is done, I'll just go to this item and I'll open the content. Now on this screen on the left side, we can see some blocks available, some content is there, layout we can modify, design also we can modify. And on the right side, we will be having the content to what we are going to put on our page okay so first i'll just go to this email form and now on the left side you can see it will ask for us to choose a confirmation message once the form is submitted successfully okay so we have three options to select the type of content no content block from content builder and redirect to a url so block work from content builder is nothing but the content builder available in uh, marketing cloud where you have already configured the content and you can just to take that block and put it over here so i'm going to select that only and i'll just browse and we have this content as NTO confirmation so i'm just going to click select so now you can see on the right side our confirmation message is coming thank you your response has been submitted and along with the start shopping url okay so I'll just click done editing. Now uh, it's not looking a completely fulfilled page. So what we can do, I'll just go to content. And this is again the content from content builder or the images you have uploaded in the marketing cloud. So we have this anti you header JFPG. So I'll just drag it and drop it over here. Now my page looks pretty well. Okay. It has the branding header, it has the correct message about the response submission and it has a link to probably go to the website as well. So I'll just click on done editing. So once that is done, I can check. Uh, so this is our this is going to be our desktop view. I can check it for mobile as well. So everything looks perfect and fine. Now we can publish this content. OK, we can schedule it or publish it. We have two options here. We can publish this immediately, okay, to make it use at the same time. And we can schedule it to publish for later to use at a later point of time. So I'll just uh, click publish immediately and I'll just click publish. So that's how you can create an interactive page in Salesforce Marketing Cloud under the cloud pages. 
and in the next video i will be showing you how to create interactive email form block and how to use this interactive page at that point of time to process your data in marketing cloud so that was all about this video if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bhairwal thank you